One of the hobbies I've become really passionate about recently is climbing mountains. The biggest one I've climbed in my life was Kilimanjaro. There are some parallels to doing this sort of research. It's really important to have a big, audacious goal. For my research, it's really to change the health and lives of women who are diagnosed with breast cancer. I'm Shelley Huang. I'm director of the Breast Oncology Program at Duke University. I'm a breast surgeon in the Department of Surgery, and I'm principal investigator of the Comet Study. It's always been a conundrum for us that the kinds of treatments that we're offering patients in an attempt to prevent cancer are the same treatments that we would give them if they were to get cancer. DCIS stands for ductal carcinoma in situ, which is a precancer. In and of itself, it's really not harmful or dangerous. And the only indication that a woman has that she has this diagnosis is that it shows up on screening mammography, usually as very small white dots that look different from her prior mammogram. Despite the fact that some DCIS may never become cancer, the concern that a woman could develop cancer at some point in the future has really driven current treatments for DCIS. I'm Bonnie Mullenbrock, and I was diagnosed with DCIS in uh, fall 2021. I had a suspicious mammogram, so went in for a biopsy. It was determined to be DCIS. The doctor recommended I talk to a, a surgeon, and they recommended um, radiation as well. And that's what really got me concerned about that just seemed excessive. I'm not sick. This condition itself isn't going to, you know, harm me. Hi, how are you? Hello. Wonderful Hi. to see you. Good to see you. I came to talk to Dr. Wong because I was just concerned about, is this wise to, you know, to have radiation, to, to um, have treatments that, you know, are, are they really necessary? I hadn't heard about active monitoring. It didn't seem to be an option just in general. And so I was excited when Dr. Wong told me about the opportunity for active monitoring within the COMET study. COMET stands for comparison of an operation to monitoring with or without endocrine therapy. About 90% of women in the United States who are diagnosed with DCIS are recommended to undergo some form of usual care, and that involves usually surgery, um, often combined with radiation. Active monitoring is one of the treatments that we tested in the COMET study. And what that entails is not operating on patients unless they develop worsening of their disease. Nobody had ever really put it to the test and done a fair comparison of the two. So with active monitoring, I came in every six months for a mammogram. So it's just like going for your annual mammogram, but you get to do it twice a year. We found to our surprise, actually, that there was a lower rate of cancers diagnosed in women who had monitoring than women who went ahead with surgery first. I don't think the early results are enough to start changing practice right away, but it should reassure patients with the diagnosis of DCIS that they don't have a medical emergency. Yeah. They have yeah, time well, to think about what so. they'd like Hopefully to do to manage their yeah. disease. <laughs> I have two daughters, so I'm excited that they will have other options for treatment should they be diagnosed with DCIS and not have to go through, you know, surgery or radiation um, with side effects and the cost of that and still be safe and healthy. This is a really important first step. That Designing the study, coming up with a research question, recruiting patients, all that is very similar in some ways to preparing to climb a mountain. At the end of the day, this study and my research in DCIS is inspired by the patients that I've taken care of over the years who had DCIS and shared part of their journey with me. But my research really is for the patients who will be diagnosed with DCIS in the future to try to reduce some of their fears around the disease and to give them options other than the very aggressive and invasive treatments that are really the only option for them right now.